welcome to jmeter tutorials so in this uh, lesson you will learn how to use think time in uh, apache jmeter 3.2 version so they have uh, apache foundation released a new version 3.2 so compared to 3.1 and 3.2 these are uh, some changes some of the changes they have given so in that one main part is a uh, think time so in my previous lesson i have given the think time related uh, videos uh, which is in the version of 3.2 apache jmeter 3.1 so now i'm recording the same in apache jmeter 3.2 okay see i have given 1 2 3 and 4 4 http requests i have uh, recorded and uh, i have used if controller in next lesson we will see how to use if controllers okay so when coming to think time so see how to use think time in jmeter 3.2 okay there are two ways one you can use test action okay second one you can use timers okay so let me explain one by one okay first of all we will use test action or timers so as for jmeter they have given some default okay so when coming to thread group add think time to children so when you click on this one if you have seen here think time it will give you pass okay so uniform random timer they have given so random delay maximum in milliseconds this take as a one second means uh, one thousand and when coming to here you can uh, see two means so custom delay offset in milliseconds when coming to thread delay properties so it is added under thread group okay so what will happen if you have run this one see under this is test action okay under this test action they have added timer so if you have seen this one so i will explain if you have just kept it here you can't add this one below this one see it, it is not going right so the tinker time it is giving the time where whenever the starting the test if you have starting the test it will wait up to see this much time see pass it has given the zero but random delay time i am given the one second to two seconds it will wait after that it will execute okay so let me add one more so that you can understand very clearly the loop controller i am using so when coming to loop loop controllers so i am going to use this one into loop controllers so that you can understand very clearly see think time i have given so it is not means uh, stopping for any particular request for this one or this one okay see each and every request they it has added automatically after request each and every request it has added automatically see after request also it is added automatically okay so let me loop controller will be one as always and this is one right let me run this one so random controller this has given as so same like one second and two seconds now three seconds let me give okay let me run this what will happen and when coming to ramp up period is a one okay just run this one let me see see here one two three four five see so after five seconds it has ran these two and next coming to here what it is giving has a in ap interview questions so so it has run completely okay so when coming to here i have given this controller that's why it is giving the problem okay it is giving so let me add think time for each and every request let me show you how to add this is a default it has given by the jmeter 3.2 so let me add this one for each and every request so that you can understand very clearly see if we, there any tinkerum just remove this one okay it has given hplm selenium tutorial site right? so i want to add think time for this loop controller okay let me go to samplers this is a test action so when coming to test action it is given target as a current thread or all thread why because we are i am using only one thread group so that's why current thread so when coming to pass i am given two seconds means 2000 milliseconds means two seconds see what will happen if i want to run this http 
request second request then our test action will pass up to two seconds then only it will execute this one okay let me run this one otherwise what means this selling tutorials will exit after two seconds so it is given two seconds right so you can understand let me run this one one two after two seconds it has run next it will run within one second and when coming to this is controller i'm given so that's why don't mind so it will run same as normal request but it has taken two seconds okay if you have seen here it will tell you the the time okay not it is not giving uh, so let me add one more thing let me add listener view result in a table so that you can understand very clearly okay let me run this one one more time so i have given 2 seconds right let me increase for 3 seconds so now i want to run this one first after that this it will wait for 3 seconds then it will start executing this one okay let me save my test okay. run first of all it will execute splm then it will execute selenium tutorials right and uh, when coming to if control it is not execute means it will take some time so like this you can use test action so this one test action as a default you can add under controllers you can add under controllers so when coming to timers you can add timers directly to the http request okay, let me add this one see i want to wait this one just click on add timers you can use constant timer sorry constant timer when coming to delay 3 seconds see i have given the delay okay let me add this okay, let me add let me see what happen http okay so why it is giving splm so selenium tutorials okay so let me add one more just copy i want to paste uh, okay this one i have given let me add here let me remove one so try it will execute in sequence so now i want to write listeners result in a table so for this one i want to add the timer you can use constant timer see thread delay will be 3 seconds the same i am given here i have given 3 seconds and here it is given 3 seconds right so let me disable this one so and uh, let me disable this one ok so let check so first of all it will wait 3 seconds then it will execute after that it will wait for 3 seconds and let me take for 4 seconds so that, uh, there is, should be any difference so let me close this one and it will execute after 3 seconds so let me run this one let's see 1 2 3 4 it will execute 1 2 3 4 5 it will execute 2 3 it will execute see you can see here the start time it has taken 422 19 but it has started after 5 seconds it means just like 4 seconds i have given how much time i have given in a second 4 seconds right after 4 seconds it has given so when coming to next this one is executed after 4 seconds i have given 3 seconds okay so you can consider this one let me add why because i have we are using this one ramp up period also it will calculate this one also so let me calculate properly so it has given 24.480 minus 28.088 so total 3.6 means it has taken for a we required response also right it will wait for response it has started time this one so after 3.66 it has started at 3.60 so sample time it has given you can see here difference here and uh, connecting time also it will see 
it within a second it has given the response connection time so like this you can use test action as well as timer timer will comes under constant timer okay so like this you can use your thread group with the help of think time so when coming to i want to copy this one one more time just copy and paste here so i have a two thread group i am i want to run this one as a one and when coming to this one as two see you can understand now it will run this one i'm running okay i have given a two view result in a table so it will give you here so let me start once it will take some time okay it will display here one two three four you can see after four seconds it has started three seconds and uh, here ramp period is one total four seconds okay now you have understood right so why it has taken extra to extra time it has see if you have seen here same check the timings 239 238 45.900 46.681 next coming to 49.5110 50.375 okay so like this it will give you the details it will you can use your constant timers or timers or test action for the think time in j meter okay Okay, and the next lesson we will see how to use if controllers. Okay, this one if controller how to use. Before executing this one, it will execute this URL. When I am taking the value from particular response of particular HTTP, then only it will check the validation and it will execute this. Otherwise, it will not execute. Okay. In next lesson we will see this one. And uh, thank you for watching my video. please subscribe to my videos and provide your valuable comments and please like my videos as well as share if you have any questions or doubts please uh, ping me in the form of comments